Now that right there is a mass movement, a mass awakening of people all around the world standing up for human rights and against governments trying to control their lives. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski here of WeAreChange.org and we got a lot of important information to get into, especially with people who hate being named as of course they're having an astronomically negative effect on everyone, especially if you're living in a major U.S. city. We're going to be talking about that, plus a lot more. But before we do, the footage that we played in the beginning of this broadcast was, of course, from Brussels, Belgium, where firefighters have joined the protests there. And these protests are not a rare occurrence. They have been happening all over the world, from Australia to the Netherlands, you name it. Wherever you have a government trying to impose their unethical, tyrannical rule for the benefit of the corporate billionaire class, you have resistance against what are clear violations of people's human rights. How have some governments responded to this? Well, by only implementing their health policy, which in some places includes a baton over the head and a water cannon during absolute freezing temperatures. That right there, what you're looking at right now, is the government health policy, I believe, perfectly represented. Now, it's such a massive global awakening and movement with governments doubling down, even trying to deny some people the access to grocery stores like we've seen a Canadian Providence move to implement. Where is the global corporate media on this? Well... They're talking about petty divisive issues that, of course, don't absolutely matter. As, of course, rarely do they ever get held accountable for their injustices. And uh, when they do, people are, are usually happy about it. As, of course, the satirical website Babylon B is reporting that there is a 100% unemployment rate among the Como brothers. Now, as the corporate media lets go of one sociopath, they're giving another a voice. As just moments from now, ABC News is about to launch an exclusive interview with Alec Baldwin. This as they're going to exploit another tragedy that Alec Baldwin was responsible for, for, of course, uh, ratings and views. Other Hollywood actors like John Schneider have said that, that this is, quote, designed to make us feel sorry, end quote, for Alec Baldwin, as, of course, he even doubts that the gun went off by himself, which Alec Baldwin is now claiming. Megan McCain said that, that this ABC News interview is, quote, pointless and tasteless, especially after, of course, the family members of the ones affected here are still grieving. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think uh, Megan McCain actually made a good point here. But what else do you expect from the completely out-of-touch lunatic corporate media where the brazen Amazon CIA-connected Washington Post is writing opinion pieces about how they believe that the media is treating Biden just as badly or worse than Trump himself, which is an absolutely clown world idea that has no merit in reality, as of course the corporate press literally colluded with big tech in order to censor criticism, legitimate criticism, about the now president's son's laptop and other clear, corrupt, unethical behavior by this career politician, which of course they have been lobbying for ever since he became the Democratic frontrunner in the last presidential election. The media doesn't criticize Biden. Biden criticizes the corporate media as he's telling everyone the economy is doing great and is publicly criticizing the media for reporting empty shelves that are showing up all throughout this country as, of course, we are going through major supply chain shortages and a crisis that has been exacerbated and made that much worse by Biden's own trade policies, health policies, 
energy policies which have been absolutely totally destructive for the average American. This as the corporate media has been doing his bidding and trying to cover up the big mess that he has been creating as of course he keeps getting away with rarely if ever talking to the corporate media. When he does he does scripted questions that are written out to him beforehand. He has cue cards with every little aspect with his interactions with the corporate media scripted. He knowingly tells lies just like any politician and of course the corporate media is still acting like his fluffer why of course setting their sights on individuals like Joe Rogan which the corporate media started attacking him because he got healthy and now because he's helping other people get healthy just like the president of the UFC that just announced after 24 hours of going through the Joe Rogan treatment kitchen sink therapy that he has fully recovered and is now testing negative. Now, I recently did a video all exclusively about the Joe Rogan kitchen sink on LukeUncensored.com. You could watch it there on our private platform, where you could also get exclusive members-only t-shirts that are only available to, of course, for everyone that has signed up. If you haven't got yours yet, what are you waiting for? And if you're looking for a laugh or a great Christmas gif or even a gag gif, look no further than thebestpoliticalshirts.com as, of course, we have a very eye-opening, ball-busting, ridiculous shirts that are sure to make an impression or even potentially kick you out of public venues. Yes, there are some shirts here that we cannot show you here, but to see the full lineup, click the link down in the description below and go to thebestpoliticalshirts.com. Get your Christmas sweaters. And uh, because you guys do that, we're able to compete with the corporate media because of your support. And whether it's beanies, socks, yoga mats, cell phone cases, hats, you name it, we got it, all exclusively on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. Now, very interestingly, the Daily Mail just wrote a very interesting piece about a beady-eyed billionaire political string pooler and influencer, Mr. Suru, which for the sake of this video, we are going to be calling Mr. Beatty, as the Daily Mail has connected Mr. Beatty to a network of woke district attorneys that he personally bankrolled in major American cities, which of course are dealing with massive chaos because of those specific political appointments, which saw Mr. Beatty bankroll to the tunes of millions of dollars. And whether it's Chicago, where gang violence and homicides is becoming the new norm, we're finding out that Juicy Smollett's bestie, Kim Fox, was given $2 million by Mr. Beatty. And in Philadelphia, the district attorney there, where murder has almost doubled, was given $1.7 million, supporting, of course, their re-election campaigns, which, of course, puts him in a political position which allows Mr. Beatty to implement a lot of his policies on the local level. Now, of course, Philadelphia and Chicago aren't the only cities impacted by this billionaire influencing local politics. It's also, of course, the local DA in Los Angeles and all throughout the United States in major American cities as he has literally delved out millions of dollars, which, according to many, have been having an absolutely demonstrable effect on the lives and the quality of life for many people living in the place where Mr. Beatty implements his policies. And as the Daily Mail points out, there is a direct correlation whenever someone connected to Mr. Beatty gets into power with, of course, a massive spike in crime. Now, what policies is Mr. Beatty trying to implement? Well, criminal justice reform. That's the larger kind of broader generalized spectrum of what he allegedly is doing. And don't get me wrong, I am definitely not a fan of our current criminal justice system. It's corrupted to the core. It creates worse criminals under the false pretenses of rehabilitation. It prioritizes, of course, profits over, of course, human lives, and it has becoming extremely political and more partisan by the day. But it's not just political, but I'm going to argue in this video also economical. Clearly, there needs to be some reform in this system, but... I would argue what Mr. Beatty is doing is having the opposite effect of any justice as, of course, more people become victims of his 
policies. Now, even though Mr. Beatty boasts about sending fewer people to jail and supporting the larger umbrella causes of BLM, a public organization that talked about the values of destroying the family unit, we have to understand that his interpretation of his justice that he paid for literally equates to the pain and suffering of countless numbers of people who just want to live their lives. And it's becoming more unavoidable by the day. You type in Philadelphia into a search engine. The first thing that comes up are shootings and homicides that happen in that city. As of course, this is a place where Mr. Beatty invested $1.7 million as the murder rate has nearly doubled in that city, making it virtually unlivable. California, now dealing with one of the largest exodus of its citizens from its state, where even the uber liberals in Los Angeles are saying that the homelessness crisis is the city's biggest problem. This, this as 40% of them are reported to say that they feel unsafe in a recent poll, as of course there also has been a major crime wave in Los Angeles, a place that Mr. Beatty also invested in. And it's not just homelessness, it's lawlessness that people are dealing with, as of course violent crime has been rising in that city for the last two years. As of course a lot of this violence is absolutely senseless, like in New York City, where a man was left bloodied and battered after getting randomly attacked in a New York City subway, and violent gang members go on violent sprees like this one that just viciously killed a Columbia University PhD student in yet another random attack. As, of course, murders have gone up 42% in New York City since 2019. It reached a point where even Bank of America is telling their employees in New York City to, quote, dress down and to not wear anything with the company's logo as they fear that their employees will be targeted in these random attacks that are happening on people all throughout New York City. Now, why is this happening? Is, is this happening because... Inflation is good for everyday Americans and, and bad for rich people, as CNN is, is claiming. And, and no, obviously no. Now, now, of course, economic situations do have a correlation here. But I think it's fair to say that what Mr. Beatty has implemented, what he has paid for, especially when it comes to DAs and prosecutors looking the other way, releasing people out of prison, releasing violent criminals on little to no bail and replacing them with political prisoners in our current jail systems. Now, is Mr. Beatty doing this all out of the goodness of his heart because he believes in the political idea? Well, of course, many people would say you're foolish to believe that, as of course, there's many different theories on to why he's implementing such chaos all throughout the United States. Some say it's to push a larger divide and conquer agenda. Some say it's to push the order out of chaos agenda. Some people are also speculating that this could be done in an effort to destroy the retail business, small businesses all throughout the United States, as of course many of them have been the prime victims of many of his policies that literally have DAs forgiving smash and grab robberies that also have been becoming more and more popular in every city where, of course, he appoints the district attorneys. Smash and grabs that, of course, destroy local business. The retail business, as of course, already there was a retail apocalypse that has been happening. And if you look at the major moves made by many billionaires, whether it's for pushing for more regulations, more policies that benefit them that they could comply with that small businesses can't, whether it's them pushing for lockdowns, while, of course, they were allowed to be open, whether it's them fomenting policies that allow people to rob businesses. Who does this help? Well, it's helping the digital of everything and the destruction of small business, which is allowing multinational corporations to gobble them up. And with Mr. Beatty being predominantly a businessman, it wouldn't surprise me if this was the case here. But again, those are just some theories out there. What do you think is happening? What do you think is a logical explanation to why this is happening all throughout the United States? Why is there such an investment into policies that create chaos? What's the real reason that this is all being done? Well, I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Why is this all happening? I appreciate your voices. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your perspectives and opinions that, of course, I try to read as much as I can of since, of course, 
I learn from you guys. And uh, I, I truly wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your constructive criticism, if it wasn't for your comments, if it wasn't for you guys taking your time out of your busy day, interacting with me, hearing me out. And because you guys do that and share these videos with your friends and family members, I'm still here. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.